Denzel Curry, my favorite plug and beat artist, also known as Denzel Ray Don Curry, one of the most consistent rap artists of all time, releasing all projects at a certain level of polish and quality. Before I talk about the albums, let me give a little bit of generic background information on Mr. Denzel. This is Denzel Curry, and you're now in tune to Fact TV at South by Southwest. Your mama ain't shit, your daddy ain't shit. Denzel Curry was born on February 16th, 1995, in Carroll City, Florida. Carroll City, what I read. He spent the first 19 years of his life in Zone 3 of his native city with his parents and four brothers. He is of Bohemian and Native American descent. His father is a truck driver and his mother runs security for stadiums. I'm sure that's not true anymore. But while still in school, Denzel began recording his raps and uploaded tracks to his MySpace account. During this time, he listened to Blackland Radio 666, 66.6, mixtape by Space Ghost Perp and became interested in meeting him upon learning he was also from Carroll City. He was introduced to Space Ghost Perp via a friend named Mike DC, who was in his collaborative hip hop group, Raider Clan. After Denzel expressed his interest to join the group, he was immediately taken in and started doing live shows with the group. In May 2017, he took on the alter ego, Zeltron, to post cryptic messages on social media and release demo versions of the songs, Hate Government, Equalizer, and Zeltron 6 Billion featuring Lil Ugly May. All these songs, alongside with two new ones, were included on the EP 13, which was released on June 25th, 2017. But let's fast forward. Denzel has released five albums, excluding deluxes and EPs. All of them, I believe to be works of art. He has the ultimate track run out of any artist to date. That being said, I hope my thoughts on all Denzel's projects really please you. I feel like I'm one more bad opinion away from a DDoS. Up on a three, two ab, I wake up every morning trying to figure how to start my day. My day. Beginning with 32 Zell, my favorite EP slash album. Uh, I don't know, Spotify says that it's a album, but the EP is 32 Zell Planet Shrooms. I'm just going by Spotify for this video, but yes, my favorite project from Denzel. In this project, he raps about where he is from and making girls drink the cum sauce. Jeez, boss. Make her drink the cum sauce. Although I see a lot of people seeing this project having a lack of purpose and lacking in general, I totally disagree. The album just brings out, and I hate the word, but good vibes and energy. With its track, Ultimate, receiving a gold certification from the RAAA for selling over 500 copies. I would say my personal favorites are 32 Avenue intro for its beat and the way Denzel delivers his lines. Everybody really on that, but you just got to embrace it. It's my favorite on this album. My least favorite song on this is Envy Me. I'm personally not a fan of the beat and I believe it lacked the energy of all the other songs the project had. I'm also not a fan of the chorus. It just seems uh, lazy isn't the word, but it just it feels like it was lacking. I believe Imperial is a masterpiece from start to finish and it has me returning to listen to the album in full quite often. Imperial earned Denzel critical acclaim, Stereo Gum describing it a hazy gurgling rap record that's clearly the work of an active mind. My favourite song on this album is If Tomorrow's Not Here, which has a, a, a beautiful electric guitar or something playing with beautiful vocals and it's just a beautiful mix of sounds to finish the album off. My least favorite song on the album is Me Now. It's like my world is As I personally am not a fan of the way the lines were delivered and the sound of the song, it just isn't for me. I can understand how people would mess with the song, but personally, I'm just not a fan. Welcome to the darker side of tavern. I put a post on Reddit to ask people their favorite albums and why, and I got a reply that had a lot of depth to it, both about Taboo and Melt. I just want to read what they wrote as I think they worded it quite well, and I don't really want to butcher it. So this is what they said. Taboo is his best album, but Melt My Eyes, See Your Future is the best album for him. Taboo is his most cohesive album with great production and incredible concept. It shows a mind thinking quite differently at the time and expressing not just unique thoughts, but he's taken the time to think of how to portray these thoughts in a concept album narrative. Taboo ultimately feels like a great piece of art, but hides the artist's personality. You might be saying, hang on a sec, Taboo has lots of personality, which it undeniably does, but it also doesn't totally align with Denzel's morals slash health in 2023. I will talk about the uh, the melt paragraph he wrote later. Shout out to I Got Bills. My favorite song of Taboo has to be Taboo. 
I'm a big fan of the vocals on this, and man, Denzel can sing. Gorgeous, beautiful taboo, always with a lot on her mind. You the part he starts rapping is crazy. He floats on these instrumentals, and it is nice as fuck. My least favorite, and this is gonna be unpopular, but it's probably Sumo Zuma. Uh, it's a little repetitive to me, and now I find it annoying to listen to. I didn't at the start when I first listened to it, so I don't know. I'm just not really a big fan of that song anymore. So it was a great listening experience, arguably being his most explosive album. The second half of Zoo did start to fall off in my opinion, everything up until Yo hit really hard, but the album did finish well with P.A.T. I'm a big fan of the aggressive rap Denzel does and he did it, he does it very well in my opinion and he definitely suits this style. Let's start it over. My favourite song is definitely Speedboat. I am definitely a fan of the beat and the way the lines are delivered and the ad-libs. The ad-libs in this song put it together. Uh, I don't think I've seen Denzel do ad-libs like this before. Let me know if I'm wrong, but the hums he does are fucking dead. It's a really good chorus too. My least favourite. It's definitely unfair to do tracks like Yo or Blackland 666 as they are more skits or interludes than songs. So I'm going to say my least favourite is probably Carol Ma. I find the chorus way too annoying to listen to way too annoying to listen to Denzel spit because he has really good verses on that song in my opinion it was just ruined by the chorus he's usually slightly bigger or stronger than the average and has a friendly attitude unlocked ah the Kenny Beats and Denzel album now I'm listening to majority of the album for the first time I'm personally not a fan of the Kenny Beats production that's why I missed it when it first came out but I'm here for Denzel I would also like to note that this album is very MF Doom with the use of samples in this album and I'm definitely a fan of that my favorite song on this album is lay up because this is actually a beat I can get behind oh kitty I like the change of flows Denzel has on this track. My least favorite is So Incredible. I don't write rhymes, nigga, I write checks. Only because there was a version with Smino that has a much better beat, and Smino has a very good verse on it. The samples on that track are also much better to listen to. Like, listen to this shit. It blesses my ears every single time. Mel My Eyes See Your Future, they're one of the best albums Denzel Curry has produced. And I know that this album is a lot of people's favorite, and rightfully so. It is a great project with amazing features from other talented artists. My favorite being Slow Tie, even though he just had a distorted section. I still love Slow Tie, so it was it was a W in general. T-Pain also went really hard on Troubles. That was one of my favorites as well. That that was that was crazy. But I'm just gonna move on to the Reddit post now so I don't fuck it up. Mel is Denzel's healing album. Mel criticizes the US experience as Taboo does, in tracks like John Wayne, some parts of Walking, etc. But instead of laying the blame solely on external factors, he adopts the I chose me attitude that Kendrick has also done on Mr. Morales and The Big Steppers. Both have given intelligent critiques on the US system, but both have also realized they need to help themselves before they can help others. Denzel showing far more maturity in Mel than Taboo. Mel also has a big step up in lyricism, and is it a coincidence that this happened when he as a person has become more mature and introspective? The thoughts the Reddit post shared I definitely agree with, and I think once again I would have not been able to articulate it that way. My favorite song off Mel has to be Angels. I spent my whole career looking for validation. I think I'm probably just a sucker for really nice female vocals. Although honorable mention to X-Wing. I love that song too. And Denzel sounds an awful lot like Baby Keen. But I don't really mind because I like Baby Keen. Least favorite is hard because all the songs are amazing in my opinion. But it would have to be Ain't No Way. Because I don't think Rico Nasty fit in this album. I don't know, I, I, I'm probably wrong, but I didn't really want to hear her on this album. I'm also not a fan of Denzel saying Ain't No Way for 20 seconds. That being said, it's not a bad song, it's just not my favorite. Uh, I hope this video pleased you. I didn't want to go into too much depth because I didn't want a 30 minute video. Uh, you didn't want to watch that shit. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, 
yeah, I I just want to go over all the albums. I don't know. I just want to talk about them. That, that, that's all. All right, goodbye.